Now let's imagine that we have a little point mass over here of mass m and we have the Earth here. Well, this point mass will be experiencing a gravitational attractional force towards the center of the Earth, and the Earth will also be experiencing uh, the same force. Now we can say that the net force acting on this point mass F net will be equal to the gravitational force which is Fg. However, now we actually know an expression for the gravitational force. This is Newton's law of universal gravitational attraction. So we can say that the net force is actually equal to minus g, where g is the universal gravitational constant, times the product of the two masses divided by the distance between them. Assuming that the distance between the mass and the center of the Earth is r. So minus gmm over r squared. Now the net force by Newton's second law will be equal to the mass times the acceleration. And this will be equal to minus gmm over r squared. Now notice that what we can do is cancel out the two masses. So let's do that. We can cancel out the two masses. Once we've cancelled out the two masses, we actually have an expression for the gravitational acceleration, which is minus gm over r squared. Typically, we give this the symbol g, so let's write down the g is equal to minus gm over r squared. We can actually use this formula to calculate the gravitational acceleration near the surface of the Earth. So if we were to assume that you know this mass is actually moved somewhere near the surface and our distance r is now actually just the radius of the earth we can actually use this equation to plug in some numbers so let's uh, let's just do that so the mass of the earth is let's have a look it's approximately 5.972 multiplied by 10 to the power of 24 and uh, the radius of the earth let's call that r is approximately 6.371 times 10 to the power of 6. g of course is the gravitational constant so let's just put in some units here so that's the mass in kilograms and that's the radius in meters okay the gravitational acceleration g will be minus the constant which is 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11 multiplied by the mass of the earth which is about 5.972 multiplied by 10 to the power of 24 kilograms then we're going to divide this by the radius of the earth squared so that's going to be brackets 6.371 times 10 to the power of 6 squared and if we were to put this into a scientific calculator lo and behold we are going to get 9.81 meters per second squared so what we've done in this video is we've shown that the formula for gravitational acceleration is a natural consequence of Newton's second law and Newton's law of gravitation. G is equal to minus gm over r squared. The value on the surface of the Earth is minus 9.81 meters per second squared. The minus sign typically signifies that uh, the acceleration is due to an attractive force. Okay, folks, well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.